have our brand new um, Mark Wallace Grounds Racing Club puppy that just come in last week. Um, really excited about this fella here as you can see, a magnificent looking dog. Um, lovely brindle, lo lovely lovely shape to him and, and, and weighs in at around 33 and a half kilos. Um, very keen and alert as you can see and uh, but this 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 puppy is coming in fantastic condition from Ireland last week and uh, uh, I really you know was surprised at how well he looked and and you know how good he is in the kennel straight away and uh, he does everything right which you want to see from a good dog eats his food well and uh, he's very clean in the kennel and uh, and 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 seems a you know an ab absolute gem at the moment um, the reason we brought this young puppy is really off the back of one sprint trial that he did at Cork in and he's done 18 and 11 and to me that was a kind of time that you want to see if you're going to be open class um, he hasn't trialled four bends yet but if he had a trial four bends we may not have got this fella because the price that we got him for you know it, 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 it yes it's expensive and everything but these are the kind of dogs that could go for a lot more let's hope in time he proves that case um, as i said he's he's by cash in legend which has been a, a stud dog that's had over 240 litters over the last few years and, and it's produced some brilliant early pace dogs. Um, Skate On would probably be the best known one that we've had in this country, um, you know, which has been a great dog for, for Reb and Liz, Liz McNair over the last last season or two. Um, his, uh, his dam line is out of, a, un, out of the first litter by a bitch called Fair Fantasy. And I think if you have a look on, um, on, on, on Fair Fantasy's form in Ireland, she, she was a cracking bitch, you know. She won top grade and opens over four bends, you know, 5-2-5, uh, five, 5-7-5, five, 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 and then stepped up into marathon class and, and won opens at marathon. In, in fact, finished up in a, in a very, very good final with some stars like... Um, Future Boy and Risky Bar, who, who, who's our Risky Syndicate owned, who went on to win a £10,000 race. Now, just by being in that company, tells us that Fair Fantasy is it look, looks a real good brood bitch. And this is her first litter, and uh, hopefully, um, this fella here, this Athens champ, is gonna gonna prove that uh, she's gonna be a good brood bitch. You know, well, champ's in August 12, well, so he's only very young and. Um, you know, as I said, he's only had uh, one sprint, so we, we've got a long way to go with him, and we'll have to start with our usual route of getting him to Yarmouth for a hand slip first, and then a sprint trial, and then doing his qualifying trials over four bends. And hopefully come sort of March, April, he's had a couple of races, and we and given, given a few races, hopefully he can venture into open class with his... Um, Sire's early pace and everything. Um, he, he looks a likely candidate for, for for Romford and those type type of races. Which, um, to be honest with you, could complement our other puppy in Saffron's Dream, who, who looks certain to be a staying dog in in the future. You know, so to have an early paced sort, which he looks like he's going to be, it, it, it should be really good for our club. You know, of course, we, we we're uh, we're hoping he does make open class and. Uh, you know, he, he's not he's not a cheap dog, and this would be the kind of dog that I'd be, if if we wasn't to buy him, we'd be selling to our top class owners as a future open race prospect. You know, so, um, but at the moment I couldn't be more pleased with him. As you can see, he looks a lovely, lovely natured dog, and a uh, bit, you know, same as Saffron Stream, who's a beautiful dog. You know, I've, I've Ollie Blue, who's a brindle as well, which uh, seems to be a rarity these days. He's a little bit more live wire than this one, and. Uh, you know, but he looks a lovely, calm, and well balanced, and 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 cracking looking dog. There's nothing about him at all that I wouldn't uh, be pleased with if I was buying a dog. Um, you know, as I said, we'll start him off in the in the greys at Yarmouth, and we'll, we'll hopefully in a couple of months we'll we'll have plenty to look forward to and see how he's progressing.